Hey there, Tina here coming to you from my friend Dominic's green room. This is my first V-log assignment in COM 259. That's communications and business. And I am to answer the question reflecting on a time when I could have been more organized, clear, concise, and punctual. And after reading chapter one of the McLean article, I can tie those into my example. Um, so, all my life, I my favorite hotel has been the Hyatt Regency's downtown Phoenix, the Escalating Restaurant. Well, a few years ago they were hiring for a server position, and I have impeccable experience in fine dining. So I thought I'd be brave enough to apply for the job. And when I, I did get called for an interview, um, so I'm going to talk about how I was in that interview and why I didn't get the job. Um, I was not prepared, basically. I um, had not had an interview in quite a while, and I was nervous, like I am right now. <laughs> um, so I should have known that I would be asked to relate certain settings, work settings, of situations that I would I had been in, and how I react, how I would how I would respond, or what I would say or do, and if I had been a responsible communicator in this interview, I would have, I always thought of maybe having a list of, of the work settings and examples to be prepared when I was asked to relate those to the interviewer. So I, I, I wasn't ready when I was asked that. Um, I'm sure I wasn't clear and concise. I wasn't clear, definitely, when delivering my answers. I'm sure um, in my interview I wasn't, I was definitely not concise and punctual. I, when I would look, took, I'm sorry, took long pauses and stared up at the wall saying, um, when trying to come up with a good and fitting scenario to share in my interview that would show my ability to be a good server in the fancy restaurant. So, needless to say, I did not get hired for that position. Um, months later, I was called back to work serving coffee in the Starbucks in the lobby, so I guess that's that's where that bad interview got me, um, not the place I wanted. Uh, next time, if I were to do it again, I would definitely have my facts straight and descriptions ready to go so that I would be prepared. Um, another thing I, I want to add, it's not in the question, but it was in the McLean article, the chapter one, was there's definitely interference going on with me. Um, my mind was not clear. My boyfriend had dropped me off to the interview, and I think the whole that whole it was a very shaky relationship going on, and I think that was clouding my head more than being focused on doing a good job in my interview. So there's that. That's my experience. That's, that's what I came up with, the first thing I thought of when asked to do this assignment. Thank you.